I'm a freelance illustrator and graphic designer and entertainer. When I draw caricatures at events, people hire me to draw caricatures as entertainment. When I started, you know, some people I think they, they have the goal of just going, oh, I'm gonna be famous, and that wasn't my goal. It was like just to draw. People go, yeah, let's be rich and famous, and I'm just thinking, I just want to draw. But in high school, I kind of fell into it because while I was in high school, there was a guy, a local guy, he had a TV show on Channel 6. He had me design a poster for him with cartoon characters, like, you know, cartoon raccoon and rabbits and stuff like that. And that was when I was still in high school. So that was my first freelance job because they paid me. But at the when I was in high school, one of my art teachers, she taught down at LCC. She saw a flyer, a guy was looking for somebody that would do posters or something. And I went down and I interviewed with this guy and actually he was opening a record shop and he had me paint a mural in the record shop that had, you know, like Jimi Hendrix, the Beatles, and all these other people on this mural. And this record shop happened to be in a larger store. It was called Free Spirit. And Free Spirit was kind of like a hippie department store. And I started doing work for the record store, but then from there I started doing things for the whole store. I was doing their advertising. I did like their newspaper ads, their posters. I did painted more murals in this building. It was a big building. And so that kind of made it grow from there where I started doing things for other companies and businesses. And at the same time, I was in a band and I did stuff for our band. But there was other bands I started doing concert posters for. <laughs> From there, from the local bands, they would play in other places like Detroit and stuff. Like I started doing posters for a Melody Ballroom in Detroit, and then from there I was doing them for like a place called Sherwood Forest. I was doing concert posters for there, and it just kind of grew in that area. So I was known back then for doing concert posters. There's a lot of places locally I was doing them for too. There used to be a place called Stables. They had a lot of blues and jazz go through there. So I did them for them. But, so like that, I fell into it kind of in a way, just growing out of all that stuff. And because like when once you do some artwork, it gets out there and people want to know who, who does it. You know, some people go, oh, yeah, you, should, you should do some landscapes or scenery. I go, well, there's enough people out there doing scenery and landscapes. You know, I just want to draw what I'm doing, you know. And especially when I doodle, I'm just, starting out and I just let it go into wherever it's going. I don't pencil it out first. That's why I call them doodles because I'm not really planning what the drawing's gonna be. So I just let it happen. So these are my doodles. I do have more that look like traditional doodles if I'm on the phone or something like that. When I used to doodle on napkins, I might see somebody come into Bigby that might inspire me because of their looks, but I don't draw a caricature of them. Or somebody might say something and that inspires me. I think the thing that really helps me when I'm working is listening to music. So music inspires me and I'll listen to certain kinds depending on the mood I'm in. But as far as seeing other artwork or movies that inspire me, I'm inspired by other artists' work that used to do concert posters. That's an inspiration. Back in high school, I was inspired by Salvador Dali and Magritte as far as painting styles. But when I'm just drawing, I don't think I think of actual movies or anything. Um, I know that this past year I've been doodling more dragons lizards and stuff like that. This is just me doing things out of my head. They're not totally out of my head. Sometimes I get surprised, but then I'm going up. See, again, you know, something came out of this I wasn't planning on. <laughs>